to the Marriott Bonvoy check-in. I'm Jeannie. We saw more than what they showed in spring. Be um, uh Connor jumps back in. Hexago automated and will lock him up. Good Q3, but it's not enough to escape. First blood to closer. And just like that, all of a sudden, the jungle lead is now fading away. Closer is ahead in gold. It's such a good jungle path. You want to step ahead the first seven minutes of the game just for your silly, silly top lane to overextend oh. and overkill. And all of a sudden, oh. Talked about the pick potential of an enchanted crystal arrow. That was Larson a just sneaky dashes arrow. In. Yeah, it's a very nice arrow. There's the Moonlight Vigil. Larson dashes across the wall, closes on his way for the chase as well. They want to give this kill to upset. Get the gold in his pocket. And in the end, it will do. Larson dashes in, but Upset secures the kill. And right now we see the trades back and forth in top lane. Finn actually going for the all-in here on Counter Medic. Yeah, goes for the all-out. The arrow, arrow hits again. as well! Again. Up on form! Arrow lands on Upset a bit immediately. He cleanses it away. The trade secured is Vladdy who gets it. The hook going in as Finn is locked up. Larson looking for the damage, but Finn with a path maker on the backline. Hexagon made him immediately exhausted as Kana dives in. Finn somehow still alive now, taken out by Closer. Carmine Core get the Drake and get a kick. Carmine Core right now. Vladdy stepping across as well. Doesn't have a control wood, does have a far side alteration puts the soldier in the pit and will rogue stick on it 2000 on it closer dashes in bloody oh! gets it for the second time this game matching the goes. wins they picked in winter and spring so Elise dashing in, Targamus looking for the root, Staggering Blows not in range, Glacial Fisher going down, but Upset very safe on the back line here, and Upset begins to open up, Red White lets Spite switches to green, and Finn has to dash away, but the go button has been pressed for Carmine Core as they'll take their second tier two of this Baron power play. And that right there was a Rek'Sai for a moment thinking he was actually the one playing Sejuani going forward very aggressively, but Larson the problem... gets bloody. Good pick on the rotation there by Vladdy, finds one. Gets Vladdy's flash out as well, but Carmine Core used the time to push in the inhibitor tower and the inhibitor as well in the bottom lane. Baron falls off. Kana stays around for a second. The hook on Zoelise, not back with the Topos, but Zoelise is now in no man's land. He's buried under it. Upset is on a killing spree, 3-0-1. Great game for Opsit so far on the Ophelias, definitely, and just... On to Targamus, Redemption coming out as well as Larson tries to dive in, but Vladdy locks him up. Markoon on the back line, goes in with the Prey Seeker, but it's not enough. Car Targamus down to half HP, but Larson short to follow to the grave. Markoon and Larson already down. Zoa least locked up in the Hexagon to made him. Moonlight Vigil goes wide, but Vladdy gets a second of the fight. Finn dashing forward, but they just don't have the damage to get through Carmine Core. It's a triple for Vladdy, and earlier we said maybe it's a statement game for Larson. Well, Vladdy had other ideas, 4-2-2. Two and two. And for the first time ever, I will say these words. Carmine Core defeat Rogue in the LEC. And they're having their fun with it as Markoon and Zoelise respawn for the Nexus Falls and Carmen Corva 2 and 1.